let us go to software update process. There are some things that you'll need even before starting the process. Your mobile phone with the hotspot configured as I mentioned earlier. Your bike's battery should not be above 90% and you'll also need the charger of the bike. Very important thing is to have at least 300 megabytes of available mobile data on your phone because that data will be used to download the software update file from our cloud environment. You can then go to the next step and plug in the charger into the bike. Once you have plugged in the charger, the display will show it. You will see this notification and which percentage of the battery is currently available and start the software update process. You do that by pressing the combination of buttons, middle of the FN button plus retro button. It is the one just above the joystick. At that moment, on the info screen, you'll be able to see that the software update has started. The second step in the process is, fetch is fetching file. In that step, the bike is downloading the software update file from the internet and this step can take around 5 minutes and it is the longer step in the process. Step 4 of the process is flashing. In this step, the new file is being installed onto one of the partitions of the bike. Now you can see the final step of the software update process the successful notification. At this point the process, the process has ended and all you need to do is press any button to reboot the bike. After the bike reboots you will be able to see on the info screen that it has the newest software version installed.